Okay, so I'm back and I finally leveled up all my Pokemon to level 40 and to affection level 4. What affection level 4 does is that it gives the Pokemon a chance to shake off status effects without you having to use an item or a berry um, for that to happen. So let's go ahead and continue through the Pony Wild. So I fought you last time. So I could have sworn I saw a trainer somewhere. Oh, hey, there's a little Zygarde piece there. So let me walk around and grab that. Nice. Now I'm still missing a lot of these. I'm gonna have to backtrack and uh, get the ones that I don't have. But, um, let's see. Oh, there's one. Let's have a quick battle while gathering berries together with our Pokemon. Sounds good to me. You are challenged by Cook Phil. Oh. Okay. Sent out Parasite. Okay, that's fine with me. Yeah, you might have noticed that my Pokemon look back at me. That's the result of being at level 4. It causes your Pokemon to look back at you and it has some other interactions as well. For example, when I use a super effective move, it'll say, that's it, I knew you could do it every single time. Nice. And, um, let's just do another poison jab. Awesome. Are there small interactions that can happen if your Pokemon is put to sleep? They'll now have a Z, Z, Z text after it says the Pokemon is fast asleep. About to send in the Friday Bombi. Um, no, I think I'll keep battling with this one. Bug type, yeah. And I guess I should show off, um, this is a move that I gave Erica earlier, Baneful Bunker. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her activate that. I don't know if you'll be able to show off the effect. It'll only work if, um, the Rombi, um, actually attacks me. Like, physically attacks me. But Baneful Bunker is now on for the duration of, um, Erica being out. So let's just use Poison Yab and get this over with. Yeah, I don't think that will activate Baneful Bunker because it was a shockwave attack, yeah, not a physical attack. But basically if a Pokemon uses a physical attack against you while you have Baneful Bunker up, they'll automatically become poisoned, which works really well with Venoshock, Shock, which deals double damage if the target is poisoned. That's why I have Poison Jab and Baneful Bunker. Okay, and that's the end of the fight. Nice. Really, pardon me. Nice. Berries keep for a long time. For we who travel the seas, they're the perfect ingredient. Yeah, makes sense. I still have the berries that I collected a while ago because they, like you said, they don't spoil, so. Okay, so this is where the um, adventure marker is. I'm just going to backtrack a bit just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Hey, you. Also known as the Move Department Store. I, I say that, but Pokemon can only remember four moves at the same time. I guess this person is trying to say that they're a connoisseur of, um, Pokemon moves or something? Kakoa. Doubt Skarmory. I think I have to change my Pokemon. I don't think Poison-type moves are very effective against Steel. I think. I'm gonna have to check. Yep. No effect. Okay, so who is effective against you? You are, and I think you're the only one. Yep. So let's bring out Kelsey. Okay, use Ember. Steel wing. Okay. 
Yeah, dragon types are only weak to dragon moves. So I'm not really worried about anything that he has. Actually, I think they're weak to more than just dragon moves, but it's the only type I can think of besides ghost types where the type of the Pokemon is, they're also weak to that type of move. So dragons are weak to dragon, ghosts are weak to ghosts, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think I need to switch you out, actually. Hmm. Who do I want to switch to? Hmm. I'll switch out to Bob. The move I want to use is not very effective, but I'm still going to use it anyway just to see if I can finish it off. And Bob still does have the leftover, so he's going to heal a little bit. Okay, um, see? Oh, well, yeah, Yawn will still work. It's just that normals are not very effective, but it's, they still are effective, so Yawn will work. So, after the next turn, Skarmory will, be, will become put to sleep. So, let's see. I'm going to use Brick Break. Giga Impact. Uh, the user can't move on the next turn. Yeah, that's the thing about Giga Impact. It leaves your Pokemon vulnerable for one turn. Let's go ahead and use it since it is asleep. So hopefully it will stay asleep after this. Hmm. Not very effective. Skarmory is still asleep. Good. Nice. Bob must recharge. Okay, use Giga Impact again. Oh, it woke up. Okay. That's fine. Really? Okay, wow, geez. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's the Skarmory right down. Hey, Erica grew to level 41. Awesome. Let's see, about to send in Sharpedo. Um, will I switch my Pokemon? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Um, what I want to switch to. I'm gonna switch back over to Erica. Yeah, Torpedo is the uh, newest ride Pokemon. No, it's not the newest one, but. Um, it's one of the ride Pokemon that I have, so I know it's a water type, so Poison Jab should work unless it has another type with it. Okay, so it does have another type with it, but it got poisoned. Nice. Okay, so let's use Vino Shock and finish this off. Sorry, phone's buzzing right in my microphone. Nice. Bob grew to level 41. He wants to learn the move Block. Hmm. Block. The user blocks the target's way with arms spread wide to prevent escape. Oh, okay. Hmm. I guess this is for the trainers that will sometimes uh, pull a Pokemon out in the middle of battle. 
Um, I don't know if that will affect moves like Emergency Exit or Wimp Out. Um, no, I like the moves that you have, so I'm gonna go ahead and have you not learn that one. Skarmory, Shapito! Wow, 3,000 Pokedolls. Nice. I'll take that. Pokemon that can learn many different moves can, by doing so, deceive the opposing trainer. Right, because basically what they're trying to say is, say if you have a water type, um, somebody might be thinking, oh, you have all water moves on your Pokemon, but then you come out and you have, like, some other type of move that they're not expecting a water type to have. So, that could, you could use that to your advantage. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's fight you. I offer up dancing and appreciation for receiving berries. Okay, a lot of berry enthusiasts around here. One Pokemon. Dancer Kara. Oh, you have the Oricoria for this island. Ooh, it's a pretty one. Don't know its type though. Super effective. So dark is super effective against it. Okay. This mirror move failed because he used it before I did. Yeah, mirror move only works if the Pokemon goes after its opponent. Yeah. Also, you know, there has to have been a move used in the fight in the first place. So. They use it right off the bat, nothing will happen. Now let's keep going. So you're just gonna keep spamming that, huh? Okay, one more time. Oh, you're gonna use air slash. Don't flinch. Yeah, that move has the ability to make your Pokemon flinch and not be able to move. Use Revelation Nance. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Erica's in a bit of a pinch. It looks like it might cry. Yeah, um, it says that whenever your Pokemon who's at level 4 affection gets into the red. But it won, so we're all good. I forgot to dance for victory. <laughs> Long ago, it seems that people related to the tapu through dance. Okay, interesting. Advanced tips. There are shops in Festival Plaza where you can get bottle caps and gold bottle caps. Gather as many as you can and get down to some hyper training. Oh. Talking about this thing, the Festival Plaza, which is a little mini game area, I guess you can get bottle caps and you can do hyper training with your Pokemon. Hmm. Hey, I found a rare candy. Nice, because I used a couple of them to get my Pokemon up to level 40. So now I have four. Great. Okay, let's finally fight you. Lovely. So you've defeated all the other trainers around here, have you? It looks like you've got Endurance and Spirit. My Pokemon have plenty of Endurance and Spirit Bow. They also have a Focus Sash. What do you say? Will you try taking them on? I'll try. What a wonderful response! I can't wait to see just how long you'll be able to stay on your feet against me and my team. Let's find out which one of us really has the most Endurance and Spirit, shall we? Yes, let's. You have... Four Pokemon. Oh god, Dancer Julia is here to throw down. Okay, so what do you have? You have the newest Oracorio. Oh no, you have all the Oracorios. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Also, I don't know what the Focus Sash does. I'm pretty sure I have one. I just don't use it or just don't remember what it does. But anyway, Red Oracorio, that means... Uh, I don't have anything that's super effective against you, unfortunately. So I'm just to make do with what I have. So let's go ahead and do that. So go ahead and use Bean Pole Bunker. Use Teeter Dance. Nice. 
Okay, use poison channel. No. Uh -oh. Okay, good. I was still able to take my turn. Come on, poison. Yes! Nice. I think one Vino Shock should do it. If I don't flinch from Air Sludge. Come on, Erica. Okay, give me a second, I need to heal. Where are my super potions? There they are. Okay. <laughs> Erica is thrilled to bits. Okay, so it says that when you heal your Pokemon. Okay, cool. Yeah, I haven't healed my Pokemon um, who are fetch level 4 until this point because I don't use potions unless I'm doing a fight like this. Where I'm recording it for you guys, and it's a major one that I feel like I have to win. Okay, use Vino Shock. Cheater Dance. Okay, well, time to be confused. Please do not slap yourself. Okay, good. Nice. Cool, Erica is now level 42. Once the Pokemon I have reach level 45, then I'll put them back in the box because that's the highest level Pokemon I have in the box right now. Ooh, and the rest of them grew to level 41. Awesome. About to sin in another Oracorio where you switch your Pokemon. And I'm gonna keep battling because I know I don't know which one you're gonna throw out. Okay, the electric type one. Electric flying. Um, does anybody have any super effective moves? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and have you use Baneful Bunker. Right, I forgot that you're confused, but you're still successful and that's all that matters. Good. Okay, use Poison Jab. Really? Really, Erica? Oh, well, you didn't hurt yourself that badly, so it's fine. Wow. I know Ricorio really likes the theater games, huh? Nice. Now you're poison. And I'm gonna use Baneful Bunker again, just because I don't want to get confused again. Yep, there it is. Okay, use Vino Shop. Use Revelation Points. It's gonna hurt quite a bit. Oh god, it was super effective! Erica toughed it out so you wouldn't feel sad. Yes! That's the attribute of um, affection level 3. Okay, that's two out of four. So that means the ones that are left are um, the psychic one and forget what the other one is. Um, I'm gonna switch my Pokemon because you need rest and my others need experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to um, and switch to Kelsey. out the Psychic Oracorio. Okay, great. Yep, that's the reason why I wanted to bring out a Pokemon that had Dark-type moves. Yeah, Erica had one too, but she's low and I don't want to use another potion. Nice! Please lower its defense too. No? Okay. Yeah, Crunch can lower the Pokemon's defense, but it's a slim chance of that happening, obviously. Mmm, Kelsey. Use Crunch. Oh. Well, that was a mistake. Okay, bye, Kelsey. Okay. <sighs> 
I guess we'll go with Harry. Use Crunch. Okay, we knocked another one down. Last one. Uh, nope, keep battling. Oh, you have another one of these. Okay, that's fine. I think this one is ghost type. Ghost fly. Um, by the fact that it's weak to dark type moves. That's what I'm basing my uh, guess on. Ooh, nice. It's defense spell. Okay, I'm going to give you a super po- no, I'm going to give you a hyper potion. Harry is thrilled to bits. I love that it says that when you heal your Pokemon now. Okay, and go ahead and use Crunch and let's finish this up. Do not punch, please. Harry! Really, Harry? You're really gonna make me waste all my potions right now. You know, if you could dodge some of these, that would be great, Harry. Oh. Oh, it changed. Okay. I'm fine with you using Keeper Gans, as long as Harry doesn't hurt itself. Please don't. Okay, good. Finally, we're done. Okay. You know, the Pokemon need to be groomed, but I want to keep them at level 4 affection for now, so I'm not going to use it. Place with reversal, I know that's a fighting move. Um, uh, attack becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. Um, do I want to replace work up or take down? Actually, no. I think the new Sorokoryo is dark type because it didn't say not effective for my normal type moves, did it? But anyway, um... I'm gonna get rid of take them. That's fighting spirit. Thank you. Oh, how lovely. Just lovely. You and your team really do have a great deal of endurance and spirit. But I'll still give you this so you can reach even higher levels of endurance and spirit. Obtain the Focus Sash. Okay. You use that and become a trainer with most excellent endurance and spirit. So let's see what that does. Um, so let's see. Focus Sash. An item to be held by a Pokemon. If the holder has full HP, it will endure a potential KO attack with 1 HP. Then the item disappears. Oh, okay. So no, I have not encountered that. It's just that it has the same icon as a lot of the other sash-like items in here. But, oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll save that then, because I've come across a particularly uh, tough battle. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Um, and then we'll continue with the story in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, 
Give this video a like. Also be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rolls, signing off. Talk to you later.